So let's talk about this new game coming to the Switch. It's going to be called Ring Fit Adventure. And I'm really shocked at this game because I don't think anybody predicted this game to come to the system. And honestly, this game is very out there. It's very weird. It's something very different. But knowing Nintendo, this is a company we're talking about that's known to do non-traditional gaming means. And this is definitely a different way to game. So let's talk about Ring Fit Adventure. What is Ring Fit Adventure? Well, basically, to sum up Ring Fit Adventure, Ring Fit Adventure is going to be some type of exercising game. And it's very interesting the way that Nintendo is finally marketing the Switch. Of course, they have Labo, and Labo is really targeted towards the kid demographic. And then we have hardcore gamers with all the hardcore games coming to the Switch, which, of course, are going to be targeted to those hardcore gamers. And then we have something like this game where it's kind of hard to tell who the demographic this would be for. Is this going to be for people who exercise, or is this going to be for people who normally don't play games but like doing exercise-type things? Honestly, I feel like this uh, Ring Fit Adventure game could be really targeted to a lot of different people. But you can see Nintendo's core strategy, at least for the moment, it looks like they're trying to hit a whole bunch of different, different demographics when it comes to the Switch at the very moment. It's actually quite funny when we think of the Switch and when we talk about this system. When it first came out, this thing was really marketed towards the hardcore gamer with the whole hybrid system. It being able to be taken on the go and also being able to be played at home. It was really targeted towards the hardcore audience, especially the type of games that came out on the Switch. And that is true to some extent, but now they're really trying to branch out. And I think they're really trying to make sure they can cater to all different types of gamers and audiences when it comes to this system no longer is Nintendo trying to do stuff like the Wii which is was catering to families and kids and things like that same thing with the Wii U the Wii U was really still trying to target off the people who bought the Wii and things like that and the type of games and stuff like that but now we have a system that's targeted to multiple demographics and multiple types of gamers and families and things like that when it comes to this system but basically what do we have here with this game well it's a fitness game but it's not going to be your traditional fitness game the more I look at this game and the more I see this game it really does remind me of something like a Wii Fit and honestly that's pretty much the greatest thing I can say about this they're really trying to get those people who really did enjoy Wii Fit to play another type of fitness game but it looks like it's not just going to be strictly about fitness per se it's going to be more of a game and more of an experience and a little bit more hardcore than something like your Wii Fit which Wii Fit was pretty much just about the main core aspects of exercise sure it was a video game but the video game pretty much stuck to the roots of exercising and when you boil it, boil it down and when you look at the main concept of the actual game it was pretty much just for exercising this game is strictly an exercising game so they are still trying to target exercising and the main core uh, experience is going to be about exercising getting your body moving and things like that but they are going to be throwing an actual game in the mix the game is going to be an RPG now when you when you hear RPG you think of things like hardcore RPGs like Final Fantasy uh, just different games with that tagline but honestly this is not going to be that type of experience because well from looking at this footage, it looks like this game is going to be a much more casual RPG. And since they're really trying to target this to fitness lovers and fitness people and different types of gamers, not necessarily hardcore gamers per se, I really do understand why this game is going to be as simple as it is. And it does make sense since you're going to be exercising and they don't want people to get frustrated or get confused or get mixed up with something like a traditional RPG, especially if you're a person that never really plays video games. Game, so that's why this thing looks kind of like a watered down RPG. Is that necessarily a bad thing? No, that's not necessarily a bad thing in this case since this game is trying to go back and target it to those different types of people who don't normally play video games. This could actually be a win-win scenario. I can actually see people who love exercise playing this and I can actually see people who don't love exercise playing this that are some hardcore gamers wanting to give this game a chance because this game is just so different and wacky. So the main game is going to come with the RPG itself. It's also going to come with all the uh, equipment to use the game. So it's going to come with this round circular uh, device. And this round circular device 
is actually going to allow you to use the Joy-Con. You put the Joy-Con in this circular type device and then you squeeze it up and down and that's where all the movement happens. It pretty much uses all the sensors in the Joy-Con to actually function with this circular device. And then on top of that, you are going to have a leg band that you wrap around your leg and the other Joy-Con that you're not using, of course, is going to be in that and the combination of both of them, that's really how you're going to get your experience from the trailer and from everything that we see from the actual game and the gameplay it does look like this game is going to be some type of turn-based RPG. Now, it's not going to be hardcore like I just said. It's going to be watered down, but it looks like you're going to be doing a lot of different exercise movements to actually get the game to work and actually defeat your enemies and defeat the foes that you have on screen, which is very cool. And it looks like they're going to be targeting a lot of different areas when it comes to your body. So maybe your stomach, maybe your legs, maybe your arms, maybe your chest. So that's very cool. They're really trying to still still keep this somewhat of a game but then incorporate exercising in the mix and I think with this game I do think they're going to have a really good balance between exercise and the gameplay and the gameplay is lighthearted, it's charming, it's cartoony and overall it does look like it will fit the whole principle of this game and honestly I think it's going to be a win-win for Nintendo. Now is this game going to be as popular as something like a Wii Fit? Honestly only time will tell but I think they're headed in the right direction and I I think this is kind of a smart move because they've already tried something like a Wii Fit and since they've already tried something like a Wii Fit it's going to be really hard to really replicate that experience again when so many people already played that game or maybe people are still holding on to their copies of that game how can you get people interested in another fitness game well incorporate uh, actual true game that's an RPG game now the RPG when it comes to the actual main game outside of the battles being turn-based battles it does look like we are gonna have uh, it's going to be an on rails game where you're going through this adventure, you're walking on foot, you're going through all these different landscapes, you're going through these buildings, you're going through these different areas. Honestly, I don't know how much rich or how in depth this game is actually going to be when it comes to the core gameplay. When it comes to the experience, when it comes to battles and things like this, because this is our first look at this game, so who knows how how expansive or how immersive this game is going to be but from the looks of it it looks like it's not going to be all that immersive we're not talking about an open world we're not talking about something with hardcore rpg elements to fit hardcore uh, gamers but that does make sense like i said the way they're marketing this game so that strictly does make sense from nintendo but overall this product does look like it's going to be a very good product when this comes out i do have to comment one thing it looks like this game as well is going to have multiple modes outside of your standard uh, gameplay. That's the RPG main core gameplay of this game. It looks like you'll be able to do other things with this game. Of course, these are just our first initial impressions of this game. So who really knows how much things they're actually going to add to this game when this game actually finally rolls out. We'll have to wait until to get the game. Now, is this a game that's actually going to be for me? Am I actually going to pick this game up? Unfortunately, I'm not going to be picking this game up. This game doesn't speak to me. Fun fact, I actually like exercising in my real life. I think it's good for you, of course, and I also just purely enjoy it. I love being in the moment. I love how exercising makes you feel. It makes you get out of your zone. It just overall is just a very good experience for me personally. But for some reason, I do not want to buy this game. I think it just boils down to the gameplay being too uh rep too uh, simple at least from this trailer and then on top of everything else why would I want to exercise in real life and then have to exercise on a video game for me it just doesn't make sense and then the biggest thing for me personally is the fact that we are going to have another peripheral and I am kind of tired of gaming peripherals you guys know there's been a lot through gaming history and for me personally I feel like this game is going to be a game you're going to play maybe one or two times but then you're going to get bored of and give up on kind of like something like uh, Labo, when Labo came out, Labo was a very cool experience, but the problem was with Labo, the games were just too basic, too simple, uh, kind of generic, and after a while, people just did not go back to the games, and then they had a lot of different things laying around their house when it comes to the cardboard, when it comes to everything about the game. I feel like this is going to be another one of those scenarios where you play the game, it's not really too in-depth, but then after a while, you just put the game up, and the other problem is, too, this is going to take space in your house, and I don't want another silly peripheral being laid around in my house where I can lose it, damage it, just it taking up space. Overall, this really does 
doesn't speak to me. The biggest thing about this game is going to be the price of the game. Correct me if I am wrong, but I do believe there is no price point for this game. We do have an, an official release date. It is coming out next month, October 18th. 2019 so it is coming out right around the corner it's coming out next month and that's kind of unfortunate it's coming out next month because there is a lot of games coming out so get ready get ready for your wallets to be destroyed because there is so many games uh coming out but honestly just my final thoughts of this game i think nintendo is onto something and i think there is going to be those type of people who are generally going to be interested in this thing. They see this thing, it kind of looks like a Wii Fit, and since this looks like a Wii Fit or a casual game, maybe this will speak to them, or maybe they'll try to get their kids into fitness, which a lot of kids may not even be interested in exercising or playing or whatever the case may be, and that may be a way to generate people to be more healthier too and things like that, because let's face it, a lot of people nowadays, especially when it comes to gaming, are couch potatoes, so it is going to be a nice way to get people off their couches people moving and things like that and by uh, incorporating an rpg type element type adventure game into the mix may make it more appealing for people who don't normally exercise in the first place so honestly all i can say this is a win-win for nintendo i just wonder how much this thing's going to cost when this thing finally hits the market if there's not already a price point on it if there is i do apologize but what you get in the box is going to be the uh the leg strap and then you're going to get the uh, circular device and then outside of that you're also going to get the game because of course it won't work without a game i want to know how they're going to price this is this game going to be a 70 dollar release because if this game's going to be 70 dollars i feel like that's not too bad even 75 dollars wouldn't even be asking too much but then if you start going into the 80 dollar territory or maybe even the 85 dollar territory that's where things can be kind of complicated with this game because a lot of people like me myself look at this game time and time again and I keep thinking to myself this game is going to be a one and done type game kind of like Labo and other things and honestly I can't just justify the price if it's going to come out and be 80 to 85 dollars if it's anywhere between like 50 and maybe even 75 that's not too bad and that's pretty cheap for what you're actually getting and as long as the experience can justify the amount of time you play this game this this game is going to be worth it in the long run but anyway guys those are just my thoughts and opinions on this brand new game that Nintendo did announce it is coming out next month again it's coming out October 18th 2019 so it's coming out right around the corner anyway guys this is Wayne from my tech news signing out